Hello everybody, in this video I'll show you how you can create a dashboard that looks something like this. You have a heading and under those headings are different topics under which there are links to different nodes in your Obsidian Vault. This makes it easy to discover your nodes and uh, organize your content in Obsidian Vault. So this was uh, created by TFT Hacker uh, for two purposes to make his nodes more discoverable by grouping them into related topics and uh, promoting linking between nodes and topics. So now without any delay let's uh, begin our tutorial. So the first thing that we are going to do in this uh, tutorial is to add a CSS snippet for dashboard. For that you will need to go to the link in the description, uh, github link for dashboard plus plus by TFT hacker and you need to go to dot obsidian, go to snippets and click on this dashboard.css file and we need to just copy all of this. Click on copy. Now go to the path where your obsidian vault is located. Here I have it in my D drive and I'll go to dot obsidian and I'll go to snippets and I will create a new file called dashboard over here. Let's write it dashboard name and I will paste the code that I uh, CSS code that I previously copied from the GitHub and now I will save it. Save as CSS. dashboard.css click on save and now you have saved your dashboard CSS snippet now we need to go to our obsidian vault and click on settings go to appearance and enable this a dashboard snippet if you don't have it enabled I have enabled it now let's create a new node called dashboard okay let's write it home page and now first we need to use the CSS here for that we'll use the front matter CSS class and we will use dashboard and close the front matter and now let's add some content here over here uh, let's copy the content from the same uh, TFT hackers dashboard plus we'll go to let's go back and click on this dashboard plus plus click on edit and let's copy from here all the way down to here copy it and paste it in your vault in your note where we have used the CSS class dashboard we are in the editing mode right now but if we switch to preview mode it will look something like this you have your notes organized in different columns uh, there are uh, four columns over here and there are links to all the notes that you have in your obsidian vault and this makes it easy to organize your notes now we have uh, finished creating this home page uh, let me uh, show you how this works uh, this is a heading and under which we have this list called sunday game the first thing we use is a heading let's say this is a heading and this will create a heading but if you write something under here just like this it will not be written in the column you see here uh, it's not written in the column but you have to use the listing view here so list one list two and list three we have three list uh, let's say let's create it four and now we have four columns if you want to add links to some other nodes uh, you can indent your notes and write here note 1 note 2 and note 3 like this you see here so this is how you create organization in your dashboard plus plus note you can also just fold this heading uh, like this just like this it's easy and if uh, your note is not looking something like this uh, maybe it's because you have not uh, enable it disable the readable line length what this does is uh, makes the note to showcase in the small space so that it makes it easy to read but we don't want that so we'll just disable readable line length which will make the note to showcase in the whole space that we have in our pc we finished creating a home page uh, using the dashboard plus plus but we still need to do one more thing that is to set this page as a home uh, as a home page or a page that opens every time you open your board for that we will we'll need to install com community plugin called home page let's search here home page and click on install click on enable 
go to option and we will choose a home page here as a home page and we will use the home page view as a reading view so that it opens uh, with that columns in our board and uh, let's replace all our nodes and if you are if you are using data view plugin uh, in this node home page uh, using dashboard css then enable this refresh data view here we have i think data view plugin used yes i think here's data view plugin used to count uh, the number of files and to also uh, list down the recent file updates so that's it this is how you create a dashboard in obsidian easily thank you for watching this video and if you found this video helpful please don't forget to subscribe and like this video because i will be coming with more cool content on obsidian in the future